Hello everyone and welcome back to Zacklet Educational Channel. So this is the rapid revision for the environmental science entrances in which we are discussing West Bengal SET 2023 paper for environmental sciences. So thanks to each one of you those who have contributed for the answer for these solutions. So thanks to each one of you. I have rectified the mistakes which you did and now we have ready with the answer key and small discussions. So without much delay, we will start today's video. Before that, I would like to say that if you haven't subscribed to our channel till now, do subscribe to get further updates. So guys, this is the paper that is West Bengal set of 2023 and this is given by Anurag. Thank you Anurag for sharing this. So environmental science paper and we will start with the first question. This will be given in two languages that is English and Bengali. So we'll see on the left hand side that is in English. First question. Which group of organisms contains the greatest amount of energy in an ecosystem? And the options are heterotroph, decomposer, autotroph or scavenger. So I will wait for certain seconds. You think about the answer, then I will reveal the correct answer. So here it is based on the basic knowledge. So here the option correct will be option number C that are autotrophs are having the greatest amount of energy in an ecosystem. So why? Because if you know the 10% rule that is in the pyramid of energy. So the lower part that is occupied by the producers or autotrophs are having the maximum amount of energy. So when the energy is moving from the producers to consumer, one by one 10% is only passed from one tropic level to another. So as a result, only 10% is passed, 90% is stored in the base or the before that the previous one that tropic level. So here in the whole pyramid, the base portion is occupied by the producers that are autotrophs. So they will be having the greatest amount of energy. And this 10% rule is also one of the very frequent last question in the exam. So this rule was given by whom? This question is also asked. This rule was given by Raymond Lindman. So you should note down Raymond Lindman gave this 10% rule of the ecosystem in which the energy is transferred only 10% from one tropic level to the higher tropic level. So I hope you have understood. Let's move on to the next question. Question number two. Which of the following category includes seed bank? So here some questions are not properly coming on the page but I will tell you which one of the following category includes seed bank whether it is ex situ conservation, in situ conservation, social and cultural conservation or economic conservation. So this is very simple question. So this will be what? This will be, it is a type of ex situ conservation. That means out of the site. That means it is not stored in that proper place. If you want to store seed of any particular species, we have to store in a proper condition in the laboratory condition that is out of the site. That is ex situ conservation. Let's move on to the next question, question number three. The zone of a biosphere reserve where no human activity is allowed is what? So this some of you are confused between the core zone and restricted zone. It will be actually the core zone. Option C will be correct, three number question. So core zone is the area in the biosphere reserve where no human activity is allowed. It is very, very protected zone. Let's move to the next question. Question number four. The phenomenon of having higher number of species in an ecotone is called what? So I'll suggest you if you are holding your mobile in the vertical position, tilt it to the horizontal position that is the landscape position. It will be very very easy to you. So here ecotone reason the phenomenon of higher number of species is called as edge effect. Yes, four option D will be correct. So two ecosystems are there and where they meet that is called the ecotone region where higher number of species are found because of the edge effect phenomena. Let's move to the next question. Very simple questions were asked if you know the concept very very simple. Question 5 which of the following has high density of biodiversity whether it is savannas, moist deciduous forest, tropical rainforest or mangrove forest. So here it will be tropical rainforest. So, so let's move on to the sixth question. Sixth question is very very important. Yes, sixth question is important because this is one of the very fundamental question you should know from the ecosystem and ecology. So type of species and here in list one species type such as keystone species, flag species, indicator species and umbrella species and you have to match with the list to which animal comes under what. So I'll wait for certain seconds. 
सो हियर आई विल टेल यू दैट ऑप्शन नंबर विच विल बी करेक्ट ऑप्शन नंबर डी विल बी करेक्ट यस की स्टोन स्पीसीज इज ब्रुक ट्राउट फ्लैग शिप स्पीसीज इज जायट पांडा इंडिकेटर स्पीसीज इज वॉट इंडिकेटर स्पीसीज इज बाइसन एंड अम्ब्रेला स्पीसीज इज पॉटेड आउल बट यू शुड नो वॉट आर दी स्पीसीज एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू आंसर इफ अनदर टाइम द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन समर अदर वे सो दिस इज द टेबल यू शुड रिमेंबर आई विल ऑल्सो अपलोड दिस इन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप इफ यू हैवेंट जॉइन यू कैन जॉइन द लिंक इज प्रोवाइड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन स्टार्टिंग विद द की स्टोन स्पीसीज सो दिस स्पीसीज हुज एडिशन और लॉस फ्रॉम एन इको सिस्टम यू शुड मार्क बोथ एडिशन और लॉस फ्रॉम एन इको सिस्टम लीड्स टू मेजर चेंजेस इन द अकरेंस ऑफ एटलीस्ट वन और अदर स्पीसीज सो एटलीस्ट वन और अदर स्पीसीज विल बी मेजरली एफेक्टेड वेन वी आर एडिंग और लूजिंग दिस स्पीसीज फ्रॉम एन इको सिस्टम दैट आर की स्टोन स्पीसीज नेक्स्ट इज वॉट नेक्स्ट इज द फ्लैगशिप स्पीसीज यू शुड नोट डाउन फ्लैगशिप स्पीसीज दे आर चोजन to represent an environment cause for example for the wwf organization panda that is giant panda is the flagship species for the conservation purpose next coming to the indicator species what are they these species they indicate the presence of set of other species yes for example here in the question it is bison so bison if it is present so because of its grazing it provide provide nesting ground for the birds yes it grazes and provide nesting ground for the birds so wherever we are finding bison it indicates that birds variety will be also there because it provides nesting ground for the birds coming to the umbrella species umbrella species are wide ranging species yeah their range is very wide in an ecosystem and protection of umbrella species automatically extends protection to other species yes because they are moving from one range to another they are wide ranging species so if you are protecting an umbrella species that means we are protecting other species also extending the protection to other species also so i hope you have noted down all these things let's move on to the next question question number 7 coming from the geology that is earth science environmental geology question exfoliation is a form of what this is also all these questions are taken from the ugc net exam only so that's why it is very very important for each one of you so here exfoliation is a form of physical weathering yes let's move on to the next question question number 8 which one of the following is the largest biogeographical zone in india so here biogeographical zone it is also an important concept very frequently asked so this biogeographical zone you can watch the link given in the i button so that it will be helpful for you in the examination it is one of the frequently asked question and here the correct option will be what it will be option number d yes deccan plateau is having the largest biogeographical zone in india that is area wise so here let's move on to the next question question number 9 International Day of Natural Disaster Reduction is celebrated on which of the following dates So for some of you it will be a new question most of you will not be knowing but I will tell you here the correct option will be option number C October 13 is the day that is International Day of Natural Disaster Reduction which is celebrated every year Let's move to the 10th question question number 10 which one of the following is the best option for setting up of a nature reserve nature reserve which is the best option to set for so here the correct option will be option number c surrounding area of different ecosystem will be the best option for setting up a nature reserve because different ecosystem means will have more diversity more interaction that's why it will be the best thing for a nature reserve let's move to the next question i'm going rapidly because it is a rapid revision if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section question number 11 which of the following is the main reason for the greenhouse effect this is based on your concept how clear you are read every option carefully then i will reveal the answer so here the correct option will be option number c absorption and reemission of infrared rays yes infrared are the causing reason for the heat that is the temperature rises because of the absorption and reemission of the infrared rays so they are the main reason for the greenhouse effect they are absorbed more if they are reemitted then they are blocked by the 
global warming that is greenhouse gases so greenhouse gases are blocking the re-emitted infrared that's why they are taken back or they are coming back to the earth and they are causing the greenhouse effect let's move to the next question question number 12 wildlife week is celebrated every year in india during which season or which month so it is celebrated every year in the first week of october option b will be correct from 2nd of october to 8th of october let's move to the next question question number 13 question number 13 is the mosquito repellents used at homes at coil or liquid form are what so good night all out all these things these are using the chemicals what type of chemicals they are to repel the mosquitoes whether they are sedatives rodenticides insecticides or fertilizers so fertilizers never they can't be because they are not used in the plants and rodenticides means to kill the rodents that means rats mice they are not used sedatives means to give the sleeping effect to the people to the person we are giving so option c will be correct that is they are insecticides insecticides are not that it will every time kill the insect insecticide means it can kill harm or repel the insect so that's why option c will be the correct option coming to the next question next again I match the following list one national parks given the names and you have to match with which state they are present in so if you are from any of these states it will be easy for you I will tell you the answer question 14 option will be option number B that means Jim Corgate National Park is present in where it is present in Uttarakhand and Dudhwa National Park is present in Uttar Pradesh, Kanha National Park is present in Madhya Pradesh and Kaziranga National Park is present in Assam. So 1 with C, 2 with A, 3 with D and 4 with B will be the correct option that means option number B will be the correct option for the 14th question. Let's move on to the next question. Next question coming from the remote sensing very basic thing question is pixels are known as what we every time talk about how much pixel is your camera 30 pixel 48 pixel 100 pixel so here pixels are known as the smallest unit of raster cell yes you should not get confused between vector and raster raster are made up of the pixel that are in the square form so these are the things which makes the pixel in the raster cell they are the smallest unit that are pixel let's move to the next question next question number 16 again a match the following yes match the following one good thing is that you can know at a time four things or five things in a single question so let's read in the list one projects are given for the environment and which organization has started that or the parent organization name you have to match with so i'll take not much of your time i will reveal one by one everything man and the biosphere program so here 16 number actually none of the options are suiting here as per this question i guess this will be dropped or everyone should be awarded with the correct marks so here man and the biosphere program so man and biosphere program the organization parent organization will be what it will be unesco yes it will match with d heal that is human exposure assessment location this parent organization will be what it will be both who and unep so UNEP plus WHO, they are the parent organization for HEAL, that is Human Exposure Assessment Location. Next is SSC, so it is not the exam which is conducted in India, it is Species Survival Commission. So this Species Survival Commission organization is what? It is IUCN. And IPCC, that is Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC is given, that is the parent organization, WMO, that is World Meteorological Organization, as well as United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, they both are the organization for the IPCC and you have to comment me in which year it was implemented, that is IPCC year, it is very very frequently asked question, so you have to comment me in the comment section. Let's move to the next question, next question number 17, who introduced the term siderophile, chalcophile, lithophile and atmophile, so this is related to the elements, what are lithophile? they are the rock loving atmophile present in the atmosphere siderophile chalcophile so who introduced this term 
so here the correct option will be goldsmith yes goldsmith in the year 1923 he introduced this term for the elements that is chemical elements let's move to the question number 18 it is also very important that is what are the environmental movements and in which state they were conducted so here question number 18 you have to see and check which code will match so here option number b will be correct yes because the epico moment was started in karnataka similarly silent valley will be in kerala and chipko moment we know it is in uttarakhand that is three with d a with b two with a and four that is four will match with jungle bachandra in jharkhand these things are very important and frequently asked coming to the next question what is the proportion of the frequency of the occurrence of la nina compared to el nino that is the weather phenomenon the changes in the wind and in the ocean currents so they are all related to the monsoon and all very very important thing so here proportion of frequency of current occurrence of la nina compared to el nina will be half that means la nina occurs half the time as compared to the el nino so to the next question number 20 ecosystem services of a wetland include what so what are the services provided by a wetland so how wetland is important so here the correct option will be option number d all of the above because a wetland is able to mitigate the flood to recharge the groundwater and to conserve the biodiversity is one of the very very highly species rich ecosystem that are wetland let's move to the question number 21 COP26 that is conference of party 26 was held at which of the following places you should be aware of these things if you can join our Instagram page for the current affairs so here question 21 option will be option number A it was held in Glasgow COP26 let's move on to the question 22 how much carbon is present in the dry mass of wood so here it is actually approximately 48 to 50 percent that is dry mass of wood contains 48 to 50 percent of carbon so here option b will be the correct option approximately 50 percent coming to the question 23rd question 23 is which one of the following precondition is not true for hardy weinberg equilibrium so this is from the genetics portion ecology and evolution thing so here here what thing will be correct what option will be correct you have to think so here option b will be correct that means this is not true non-randomly mating population is not true randomly mating population no mutation no gene flow and no selection are the condition for the hardy weinberg equilibrium coming to the next question question 24 the autotrophic component of a pond is what so in pond which of the following is known for preparing the food for the other ecosystem that is other tropic level organisms so here the correct will be phytoplankton phyto means plants so plant kind of planktons which are able to provide source food for the other planktons for example zooplanktons and other higher organisms coming to the next question question number 25 this question is a bit confusing in India single use plastic of thickness dash was banned recently in 2022 so here what happens is to know this thing you should know that 25th number question it should be less than 120 micrometer so this was banned in 2022 less than 122 the 120 micrometer the polythene were bland single-use plastics so here none of them are giving this thing but yes if you are going for the previous year 2021 it should be less than 75 micron but if it is asked in 2022 then it will be less than 120 micron let's move to the next question next question number 26 cyanide is rapidly lethal because the target is what cyanide very very lethal toxic chemical what it does so it what it does is question 26 option will option number a cytochrome a3 in the mitochondrial electron transport change it targets that and as a result our whole cellular system disrupts and is it causes death let's move to the next question that means the mitochondria the powerhouse is affected by the cyanide as a result we are dealing with the lethal doses that means death question 27 which hazardous substance is released from the batteries 
it is i think a very simple question chocolate question i will say option number d cadmium it is present in the batteries so this is the hazardous substance question 27 option d will be correct next question 28 lightning in the atmosphere produces what so this is telling about the nitrogen fixation nitrogen fixation through lightning process is one of the very very rare process and it happens but the thing is you should know the nitrogen cycle very very frequently asked question anything can come from that and we have discussed very deeply in a particular video you can check the link given in the i button nitrogen cycle so here those who have seen they would have marked the correct option that is option number one a and o it produces when the lightning takes place in the atmosphere Let's move to the next question, question number 29. Which statement is true with respect to endocrine disruptor? So here endocrine disruptor, what are these things? Which is true about this thing? Question 29, option number D, all of the above are true. So here natural and man-made chemicals which interfere with hormonal function of the body. So they are the endocrine and disruptor and option b they are found in many everyday products they are also correct they cause adverse effects in animals and humans they are also correct so all of the above will be the correct option for this question let's move to the question number 30 which one of the following is responsible for the leaf curling in plants so here this is from the plant disease and here which element is responsible or which chemical compound is responsible so option 30 will be A that is sulfur dioxide is the element or the compound which is responsible for the curling of leaf in plants. So I hope you have noted down all these things. We will stay till this point in this video. If you want the part 2 early you have to comment me in the comment section. See you guys in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Do like, share and see you guys in our next video. Till then keep smiling and believe in yourself.